Hi guys, my name is Roger, and ever since I was a teenager, I've always wanted to build my own car. I started this channel to see if an average person, like me, can design and build their own mid-engine car. If you like what you see here in my videos, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you know someone who you think might be interested in my videos, please share the videos with them. I'll be adding a new video every week, and with that out of the way, let's get started with this week's video.
Okay, I want to bring you guys up to speed on a few things. I guess you can tell that we haven't started on the roll cage yet. On the steel part of the roll cage, anyway. And there's two reasons for that, I guess. Uh, the main reason is um, the race shop told me they would have parts done for me by the weekend. And uh, by this weekend. And it is Saturday afternoon and I haven't heard back from them I did touch base with them a couple of days ago and they said they were trying to finish a race car frame and get it out to powder coat before they started on my order. And I guess they just didn't quite get finished. But that's okay, honestly. I've been busy all week and I'm still not quite finished with that list of things that I was wanting to adjust or fix before we started on the roll cage. So I wasn't quite ready to begin it with it anyway. And uh, let me walk you through what we did accomplish this week and what is kind of on the to-do list left to start next week. But uh, we'll start in the front here. I think I mentioned last week that I uh, someone had said something about the mounting bracket here for the brake booster not being quite strong enough possibly or looked like it might not be strong enough so I went back and added some welds to this mounting bracket and added a steel angle here that bolts to these this solid aluminum tube and it bolts here on the front between the nut and the uh, master cylinder for the brake and I have some washers in here now but I will turn some steel spacers that are the right ID and OD and length fit in here perfectly and we'll clamp all that up together but what this does is it keeps the front of this stable so it can't try to shift or push forward when you're mashing the pedal it gives it some more support to press against here so I think that'll take some of the load off of this aluminum mount and help support that better and uh, hopefully that should be strong enough not to give any trouble in the future I believe it will be it looks pretty solid to me and I added these pieces here. I cut the old ones off and ground them down. They were short. They were just going to bolt here to this tube. And I lengthened these out eight inches long. And by doing that, I can get two bolts through down through this large solid tube. And then one here in the back to kind of support that. Here's the one on the other side. I have two bolts just dropped in the holes. I've got one hole open here. But you can kind of see what my plan is to bolt all that together. And that should make that significantly stronger. And I believe that will be fine. I also welded these gussets in. These plate aluminum, they're 190 thousandths thick. And you can see they're welded in all the way around solid. And I was afraid this would try to collapse in a crash, so I actually welded a bead here too to keep that stable. Now the only thing that's not welded solid is this top, so I guess if it was going to collapse, that would buckle in or out one, but that should be pretty strong. We transferred the holes through this plate for the door hinge mounts here, so those bolts and nuts pick up that, uh, that doubler plate also and sandwiches together that makes that joint really strong okay what's next uh back to the other side also i've been working on some new seat mounting rails i wasn't happy with what i had before with the sheet metal ones i just didn't think they were quite strong enough so i decided to go with some tubing here, rectangular tubing, it's thick wall tubing. And I am starting on welding this together and making new mounts. Uh, this is something we'll finish early next week in the video. Probably uh, this will be the first thing we do and get these finished. I'd like to get these wrapped up and the seats actually bolted in here solid so they don't wiggle around when you try to get in the car and sit down. And then once that is finished, we will be on uh, strengthening or bracing these top supports here for the shop towers and I have my tubing here for that 
it'll be this piece i took the measurement i only cut these into five and a half inch pieces and then cut them and fit them to uh put as doublers in there and weld those in um, that'll possibly be next week that may carry over into the week after after the roll cage tube pieces come in uh, speaking of the roll cage i did start on some mounts here i've got two mount pieces made here this is steel the uh, this back main hoop will weld onto this plate and i cut holes here on both sides and i will use uh, like a flange nut and drop that in the wrench and i can stick the wrench in through this hole do the back one first and then the front one when i bolt those down so i can reach in there and get a nut on the back side and That'll be where we pick up on the roll cage, welding it to these two plates. That'll be the first thing we do once we get some of these uh, steel tubes back from the race shop bent. Um, also have the plates ready. I have to cut them to fit, but to weld here, there'll be an aluminum plate welded here to mount the roll cage to, and then the bar itself, the, the roll cage bar, will mount to a steel plate, and that will bolt together and sandwich here in this corner. Um, I have the aluminum and the steel here ready to start on that. Just waiting on the race shop to finish bending that tubing. Uh, one more thing that I did. I just saw this. Um, where this frame bolts on here for the dash support and the door linear actuator mounts and all of that. There was a place here where this tube stuck up above the frame that didn't have a backer for a solid support. So I welded a tube in here so when that clamps together just gives it more of an area to tighten up against. The other side is lower, so it didn't require one, but this one was taller, and I needed something for that to snug up against when I bolted it in, so I added this here. But that should be the last thing that we get accomplished this week. And I believe you guys are up to speed, and this is a good place to end the video, and I will see you guys again in one week and hopefully this coming week we will get to start on this uh, roll cage.